Hello aviators, how are you today? My name is Magna Nordahl, I'm an ATAR captain and instructor. The cockpit of an ATAR aircraft is filled with numerous lights and labels in various colors. Each color, however, carries a specific meaning. That is what I will talk about today. The ATAR aircraft follows a concept known as the dark cockpit. Not black, but dark. This means that during normal operations, you won't see any white, amber or red lights in the cockpit. Before takeoff, I always do a quick scan of the panels. When there are no white, amber or red lights, I know everything is good to go. Here is what the colors represent. Black, normal operation. When a generator is running normally, there is no indication. White, the system is turned off. For instance, after shutting down the engines and before leaving the aircraft, we switch off certain systems like the fuel pumps and the windshield heating. Blue, the system is manually turned on. For example, this applies to anti-icing systems, which are used only when flying in icing conditions, or when using hydraulic crossfeed. In earlier ATI variants, this light was white, as ATI initially considered white to indicate a non-normal operation. However, they later decided that blue was a more logical choice for this indication. Green, the system is selected on and operating automatically. For example, when the fuel pumps are activated, they will run until the engine starts, at which point the engine-driven fuel pump takes over. The electric pump will continue running for 30 more seconds before shutting off. It will restart automatically if the fuel pressure drops below 5 psi, if fuel crosswind is activated, or if the fuel quantity in the associated tanks falls below 160 kilos. The fuel panel displays three green bars indicating the status of the low pressure fuel valve and crossfeed valve. Additionally, the indicators for the spoilers are green as their operation is linked to the position of the corresponding aileron and requires hydraulic pressure. In earlier ATI variants, these lights are blue. Amber, the system is selected on but is not operative. We often see amber lights before the engines are started, such as those for the generators and their associated systems. As we start the engines, the amber lights gradually disappear one by one until they are all gone. When a system fails, the alert system is activated, triggering a signal chime, a flashing amber monster caution light, a message on the alert window, and a local fault light. The flashing light is cleared by pressing it, after which the checklist is followed. Red, a critical malfunction or condition that demands immediate attention from the crew. This could indicate situations like an engine fire, loss of engine oil pressure, smoke, or loss of cabin pressure. When this occurs, it triggers a continuous repetitive chime. a flashing red master warning light, and a message on the crew alert window. The oil warning and flashing light are cleared by pressing the light. Some emergencies require the crew to take immediate action from memory before consulting the checklist. These procedures are practiced regularly in the simulator during recurrent training. Ask any ATI pilot what they will do if an engine fires after V1, and you will likely hear a response like this. Check up trim and auto feather. If no up trim, both powerlers to the ramp. When airborne, gear up. If no bleed, 1 plus 2 fault light, select them off. At acceleration altitude, select alt mode. At VFTO, find the takeoff speed. Set power levers in the notch. Select MCT, and if normal conditions, flap zero. Check the speed target is VFTO. If icing conditions, maintain flap 15, and VFTO for flap 15. Select IAS mode, affected power lever to flight idle, affected condition lever to feather, then fuel shut off. There is one exception to the dark cockpit concept, when we dispatch the aircraft with a non-defect. Modern airliners are built with extensive redundancy, allowing us to operate with some systems inoperative for a limited time and under specific conditions. For instance, if an ice protection system is not working, we cannot fly in ice and conditions. 
These conditions are outlined in a manual called the Minimum Equipment List (MEL). As a result, we may take off with a white or amber light in the cockpit, but that is briefed. I have made a video about the Minimum Equipment List and you can find the link in the description below. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. A special thanks to my channel members for their support. They get early access to videos, two days before everyone else, and without advertisements. Members also enjoy exclusive perks like access to live streams, a private WhatsApp group, and Zoom chats. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day, and happy learning!